write as a sum or a difference of trig functions or values. Solution. So in this problem, we have a sine and a cosine, and the angles are different. So the formula we'll use is sine x cosine y is equal to 1 half bracket sine of x plus y plus sine of x minus y. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the problem that we have. So we have 2 sine of 58 degrees cosine of 102 degrees. So if you have the identities in front of you, which, which I do uh, while I'm making this video, uh, it's really, really easy. All you do is you pick the correct one and plug in the numbers. So here there's a 2 missing. So to make this match, we have to multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 2. So these would cancel, and then we're left with sine of x plus y. So our x here is 58, and our y here is 102. This will be sine of 58 degrees plus 102 degrees plus sine of 58 degrees minus 102 degrees. So 58 plus 102 is 160. This is sine of 160 degrees minus plus sine of now 58 minus 102 is negative 44. And now what you can do is you can pull the negative out. You can do that with the sine function, okay? Whenever you have a negative, you can pull it out. So it's negative sine of 44 degrees. And we can't go any further, so that's the final answer. So in general, if you have um, sine of negative x, that's equal to negative sine x, okay? That's because sine is what's called an odd function. If it was cosine of negative x, it would be cosine of x, because cosine is even. So even functions eat negative signs. They go away. And then if it's an odd function like sine, you can pull out the negative. That's it.